6.15 right now. It is Friday, and that means it's time when we take a look at the best pictures and videos that you sent to us this week. Never know what you're going to see in the reported recap. Look in the reported inbox. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Bill got some great shots of the shuttle getting a piggyback ride over Manhattan, heading to its new home in New York City. Bruce and Ralph were there when it landed. We got some dramatic video of fire engulfing a house in New Haven Saturday. James showed his firefighters putting out those flames. Also Saturday, Carl and Robert got shots of a crash on Route 2. And Brett, Dave, Joseph and Vanessa showed us a wreck on Route 8. A car rolled over in Hebrew Tuesday. Same thing happened on Wednesday on 95. John showed us a car that put a hole in a West Hartford business. Heather showed us a truck that slammed into a store. Milford's Tom Thorndike turned to News 8 to show us the damage that still hasn't been fixed months after Tropical Storm Irene. This is a case where we have insurance, we paid our premium, and we can't get, we can't get paid. And you have no recourse. This past week, people got together to make a difference. The We Love You Foundation cleaning up in Bridgeport, people protesting outside a town hall meeting in Bristol, and rallying outside the state capitol. Families walked for the March of Dimes. Kids at St. Aidan and St. Brendan held a food drive. So did classic car lovers in Derby. That's Joey's horse in the stable. Janet's been feeding this raccoon peanut butter sandwiches. It's back for more. And Allison spotted the moose in Northfield. Priscilla saw some ducks on the pond, while John and Kenny spotted some in their swimming pools. Dogs enjoy the water too, that's Digger, but they like chilling out more under a tree like TJ or watching TV on the couch like Zara, snuggling with a stuffed animal or waiting at the door for visitors. Sarah fed the geese, Kevin enjoyed some ice cream, chocolate, and Tay and Ron and little engineer Elijah saw Thomas the Train come to life. But we end this week with this little one, clearly amazed the scream sold for $120 million at auction this week.